Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my newest psychic reading on Jackie O and Dr. Zachary Oka. Dr. Zachary is the doctor that performed her last surgery on Jackie O before she passed away. And Dr. Zach did come up in the last reading that we did on, or that I did on Jackie O. So I figured I'd read both of them and see what we get, what comes up. All right. So thank you all for being here. I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and a medium. If you would like your own reading from me, I am available, and I would love to read for you. You can text me at 703-791-9162. You can also email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com or lamartownsend at gmail.com and visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. My website is the best place to reach me, so if you do want a reading... Do not hesitate to reach out on my website. Let me show you my website here in a minute. Let me just pull this down. There we go. This is my website. So once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also check me out down here on Instagram and Facebook. Not sure why we did that, but all right. You can also scroll down and follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. If you would like your own reading, go right to the store section. This is where you would go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different types of things that I do offer. And I do offer quite a lot. I offer phone readings, email readings, video recorded readings, past life readings, mediumship readings, um, birth chart readings, candles, classes, and so much more. I do spiritual development classes where I teach you how to develop a spiritual, a healthy spiritual routine that'll keep you protected and cleansed and grounded. Um, I also do offer um, tarot classes as well, you know, and protection candles and cleansing candles and so much more. So I definitely would recommend those if you are into anything spiritual. Now, let's get right into this reading on Jackie O and Dr. Zach. Um, I don't want to waste any time. I am trying to get through my list of clients. If you're waiting for your reading, I don't actually have that many clients right now, actually, in terms of my list. So if you want a reading, now might be a good time to get a reading because I have gotten through my list and I think I have like two or three more clients left in terms of my list to get through who are waiting for their readings. So if you're waiting for your reading, I will get to you soon. Um, and I might have to end up closing that window over there. I was saging earlier, so the windows are open. Yeah, let me close the windows, child. Let's go ahead and do a quick singing bowl. Thank you, Spirit, for opening up the channels so that I can connect with the energy of Jackie Owen, Dr. Zachary Oka. Thank you for providing clarity and insight into what happened to Jackie O. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions in my space, as well as those watching this video. Amen, amen, amen. Let's get into what's around Dr. Zach Oka and Jackie O. First of all, the first thing I'm seeing, and this may be weird. I'm seeing a little dog. Like, I feel like I'm I'm at Dr. Zach's office. I feel like I see him in his suit. He's sitting down. But I'm not sure if he's talking with a patient or, like, um, a fellow co-worker or employee. Because it's almost like there's this camaraderie where he talks to everyone the same kind of thing. Or maybe I'm just tapping into... I don't know. But anyways, I see him sitting. I feel like he's talking to someone. I feel like he's kind of like lax. I feel like he's relaxed. He's joking with this person, whoever he's talking to. Um, and I see a little dog. 
Like I feel like a, like a little dog that you would see like Paris Hilton Hilton have. Once again, I'm not sure if this is one of Dr. Zach's dogs or one of his employees' dogs, or if there's a dog that kind of roams the office that he works at or does his surgeries at, or um, once again, if this is maybe just a dog of his one of his clients. But I feel like he's sitting. He's kind of joking. He's very lax. He has a very like relaxed lax like not taking anything too seriously approach about him at least energetically from what i'm picking up on um but it's almost like it kind of makes me nervous in a way because it's like i like i like that i can i feel so connected to you and i feel like i can joke with you and have fun with you but at the same time the environment that i'm in like the energy that this guy's giving me dr zach it's like, I just feel like you're too lax. I feel like you're too comfortable. I would like prefer a little bit more seriousness. But that may have been a part of his brand. That may be a part of his, um, his shtick, I guess you could say, his thing, is um, where he makes his clients feel comfortable. Or he has a very kind of relaxed, a very, um, what's the word I want to think of? A very... controlled quietly controlled environment where it's fun it's relaxed we're dancing we're like we're, we're playing music it's not so serious like you know oh yeah you know lip fillers is, is it's a common thing no big deal you know i don't know why i hear lip filler parties lip filler parties so i'm not sure if this guy does parties too dr zach or if there's something where they live, his, he literally ha and participates in these types of parties where there's like lip filler for everyone kind of thing. I'm not sure. But, um, I feel like Dr. Zach is definitely entrenched in the medical, I would say, plastic surgery industry. Um, whether he is licensed or not, because I saw some rum rumors about that. Um, I feel like he's licensed in certain things, but in other things, not so much. Like, I feel like when it comes to the type of work he does, like, how do I explain this? There are certain things you have to be licensed to do. So just because someone may know how to do plastic surgery, like, you know, or people may know how to, may know how to do plastic surgery, doesn't mean they know how to do all plastic surgery. Like, you have to be licensed to, I feel like there's something where you have to be licensed to, like, do face plastic surgery. You have to be licensed to do, like, breast plastic surgery. You have to be licensed to do, like, stomach plastic surgery. And I'm not sure if all of these licenses fall under the same, same umbrella. So I feel like that's something, that's where I feel like Dr. Zach falls um, to the wayside. Is He may not have certain licenses for specific things or for specialized things that he knows how to do. But once again, he may not be licensed in it. And we know that licensing, you know, when you go through with the process of, process of licensing something or getting, getting a license, right? You know, you have to show and prove that you're an expert, that you know also the protocols when it comes to um, ethics. And things of this nature in treating wounds and proper proper medical procedures you know so that's the issue um but there's something where it's like he kind of like I get the impression where it's like he's kind of like he's kind of like the cool doctor but like you know how like in the in, in the movie Mean Girls it's like the Regina George's mom is like I'm the cool mom I let y'all drink. I let y'all, you know, like, I let y'all do what you want. You know, I let you guys, you know, influence me too kind of thing. Like, that's the vibe I get with Dr. Zach and, like, the way he operates sometimes, allegedly for YouTube entertainment purposes only, all right? Like, I feel like he's like, I'm the cool doctor, you know? Like, I'll take, you know, almost any insurance. These are all just hypotheticals and just, like, you know, things I'm throwing out there to show, like, how he would be, right? Not necessarily exactly how he is, but it's, like, the energy of, like, I'll take any insurance. So, you know, yeah, you need that kind of thing and you, you need it at, a, you know, a decent price. Yeah, I can do it for you. Sure, you know, come on over. We like to have fun over here. We're cool, you know, like, that's the vibe I get from him or that he tries to portray or that he portrays. Mind you, I don't follow this guy and I don't follow Jackie O either, all right? 
As a matter of fact, you can go on my Instagram and my TikTok to see who I follow. I don't follow that many people. The people I follow are the people I know. Um, unless we're talking about YouTube, which is different because I, I like a lot of YouTube channels. I like variety with content I watch, but I don't watch anything related to Dr. Zach or Jackie O, to be honest with you. Um, so with that being said, I keep seeing like a little dog prancing around in his office. I almost feel like this is his dog because he's like kind of like clasping the dog and petting it and holding it close to him. So I almost feel like he has like maybe an animal friendly office or something like that. Or there's something about a dog I keep seeing. Like maybe, I don't know, I'm wondering if this is Jackie O's energy I'm tapping into and maybe this is from her perspective I'm seeing. If Jackie O is in the room or if I'm tapping into her energy, please come through Jackie and say what you need to say. All right? Whether it's regarding this doctor or whatever else, but I I think she's coming through because I hear her kind of saying, "Yeah, like he creates a lax environment. He creates a very like relaxed environment. Like it's it's chill. It's one of those environments where like you you go and like you you're served mimosas, you're served drinks, you're served this, you're served that." She's saying not like she's like not like not that he really served mimosas or anything like that, but like. He makes you feel relaxed. He makes you feel comfortable. She says it's it's good vibes. And she says it just like that. It's good vibes. Um, but she says it like this. She says it just like this. Those good vibes are to mask the... The scrutiny, she says. But those good vibes are to mask the scrutiny. That he faces or that his firm faces. Those, those good vibes are to mask the, um, I hear the improper technique and, um, improper procedures, she says. She says there's something with the environment that they create where it makes you kind of it gives you the impression where it's like if there if there's any issues afterwards, it was your fault. Not necessarily confirming that it was it was your fault, but that's the the impression that they try to portray, or that the, that's the impression that they try to um, masquerade. She says. I see something about like hair, like hair follicles. Like I don't know if he also does hair or portrays to do hair, but I'm almost like getting a bit energy where like um, Jackie always like saying I almost like wanted him to do something for my hair or something like that. Like I feel like she trusted this guy because of the way he portrayed himself once again. She gives me the energy where it's like, yeah, I heard certain stories about him. But she's kind of like, based on my intuition, based on my interactions, based on what I felt, I felt like I could trust him, she says. She kind of goes, I felt like I could trust him. And it's almost like she's admitting to it. Like, it's almost like, are you admitting? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you what's the energy behind that when you say, I felt like I could trust him? Like, what, what is that? She kind of goes, and I'm getting emotional. Why am I getting emotional all of a sudden? She kind of goes, That's, that was kind of the theme of my life. Like, I felt like I could trust certain people, and they tore me down, or they brought me down in some way, shape, or form. So I'm almost, like, wondering, then, why didn't you trust your intuition? Or you, But you were saying your intuition told you you could trust them, though. What? So I'm confused about that. She says, yeah, I know. She says, yeah, I know. It's almost like you want to take responsibility, but you don't at the same time. Is that what I'm feeling, Jackie? She kind of goes, yeah, yeah. She kind of goes, it's a, she goes, it's embarrassing because it, it reflects on my deeper insecurities. 
and she kind of puts her heart to her chest just like this like it reflects on my deeper my deepest and my deeper insecurities and the fact that i trusted this man and she says i ended up duped don't know what that means but we'll say allegedly just to you know for youtube entertainment purposes all right she keeps saying she ended up duped she says she wasn't getting what she originally was expecting to receive or what she originally invested in. What was it that you invested in? She says my looks. She says my talent. She says my imagery. She says, I put all that in the trust of this man, and it landed me where I'm at now, she says. She says there's big, there's a big boom or a big business in mommy makeovers, or mommy-like makeovers, she says. Where the woman, and it's, she kind of goes, it's, it's not just women, by the way, who have children. It's older women, women who are aging. She says, and that's what it boils down to. It boils down to there's a market out there for women who are aging and want to maintain their youth, want to maintain their looks, don't want to be phased out, and will almost do anything to achieve that. She says, that's what I fell victim to. And I'm seeing little hairs flow by. There's a little hair literally right in front of my face. I literally see it floating, floating right in front of my face. I wish I could show you all. It's just kind of floating around. I don't know if that's my hair or one of my cat's hairs. There it goes, just floating in the wind. It's so interesting. I've never seen that before, a piece of hair float like that. I don't know where it went now, but um, her energy must definitely be in the room. Well, first of all, I want to honor your presence, Jackie O. I want to surround you with love and light and healing and protection for what you went through from beginning to end, from beginning of your life to end, all right? She says thank you and she kind of takes in like a deep sigh, like, like thank you, you know, like thank you. She says she's worried about her children. She kind of goes, you can't imagine what it's like. It's like a glass door, she says, or a um, one of those doors you see in TV where you can see them, you can see outside the door, but they can't see you looking at them, she says. That's what that's what it, life is like for me. Like I'm banging on the door, I'm banging on the window, I'm trying to let my lo loved ones know, I'm trying to let my children know, and my, my I hear my mom, my grandma, my dad, I'm trying to let them all know that I'm here, I'm with you, but they can't hear me. They can't sense me. And she says, that's the hardest part. That's the most difficult part, she says. She says, that really gets me in my feelings. She says, I want them to know that I'm here. I want them to know that I'm around them. And she says, she says it just like this. She sounds really like, kind of like, almost like panicked over it. She's like, she's like, I know it's, and I know it just takes time. And she kind of like pulls away, but it's like, you know, she's kind of like, pacing back and forth in her own head. I don't want to interfere with the energy. I also see someone who looks like an angel kind of like trying to like pull her in or like trying to make sure she's okay. But they're kind of like in the shadows. But I see their hand. I see their wings. Um, so we definitely acknowledge that she is with angels and spirit guides. She's like, and she's pacing back and forth, but she's like, I, but I want to talk. I want to talk, though. I want to talk. She says, DC Young Fly. 
JC Youngfly, of course, was her partner um, before she passed. She says one thing about him. And she says it like this, but uh, okay. All right, Jackie, we're going to go with it. All right. She says it just like this. One thing about him is he was always looking at girls. He was always going to look at a girl with a fat booty. Literally, that's what I heard. Um, And she says, and he didn't know it, but those little things of noticing him looking at other women, getting attention from other women, like, you know what I'm saying, and him liking it, it, that played on my self-esteem. That played on my emotions, she said. And she's like, and that doesn't necessarily have anything or everything to do with him. It, that's, it has everything, she says, to do with me and my insides, how I felt about me on the inside. And how I felt about my outside on the inside, she says. She says, my outside self was not reflecting my inside self. She goes, I was, and I was really duped by this guy. She goes back to Dr. Zach. Once again, we're going to say allegedly for YouTube entertainment purposes. She goes, and I was really duped by this guy because he made me feel like I was a big, big celebrity. And this was going to be a big thing, a big thing for my career. And I was doing the right thing. And I was, he, he bigged it up. She says, she, like she, she says he was hyping me up. She's also saying, like, Dr. Zachwood may have also been recommending certain things for other things for her to get done over time. Like, you know, I feel like there were certain things with her face that he was, like, she says consultation. Like, we did a consultation, and maybe, like, during the consultation, he was like, I noticed this and that. We can improve this and that, too, you know? So I feel like they came up with a whole plan to really just, like, upgrade her entire look. So I almost get like the energy that like th her mommy makeover, you know, the, 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 her mommy makeover that she indulged in before she passed was just the beginning of a total makeover. Is that what you're saying, uh, Jackie? She goes, yep. She goes just like that too with her lips. She goes, yep. She goes, yep. Yep, yep. She goes just like this too, like, yep. She seems kind of somber about it. It's like the fact that this, this is what took her out. This is what, this is almost like her lasting legacy kind of thing. And she kind of goes, she's like, I, I knew, like, I knew, I knew that, I knew, I knew that it was going to, in some way, shape, or form, come down to this. Or she knew in some way, shape, or form that her life would be a message to others or an inspiration for others, so to speak, she goes. But she goes... But I didn't think like this. She goes, not like this. Cleopatra. Patra. Let me show you all my cat Cleopatra. She wants attention. This is my cat, Cleopatra. She's nicer than Fonzie. She likes to be on camera a bit more than Fonzie. Y'all know Fonzie hates being on camera, child. So this is my cat, honey. You really need your back claws clipped, girl. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Can I do my reading, please? All right. Patra. Okay.
patch with She goes, oh, I like cat. I liked cats. I feel like Cleopatra is kind of actually bringing her out of her shell a little bit. Like she seems to brighten up a bit, Jackie O, in her energy. Cleopatra wants me to pet her. Cleopatra. Okay. Let's say bye to the people real quick. Let's say one more message to the people, okay? This is Cleopatra. She's one year old. Ow. Patra. Ow! Oh! Cleopatra. Go ahead and get down for me. Can you do that? All right, thank you so much for your attention. All right, I'm sure Jackie O appreciates it so much. Thank you so much for coming through, Cleopatra. All right, she's gonna go eat her food right now. So good. All right, sorry, Jackie. She's like, it's fine. She kind of laughs. It's good we got her to laugh. All right, um. I don't know if is if there's more you want to say, Jackie. I mean, I don't want to take up too much of your time or your energy. She says, no, you're fine. I, she says, I'm just deep in my thoughts and my energy and my feelings. I'm getting used to, she says, this new phase I'm in or this new life I'm in. She says, I'm just getting used to everything, she says. She says, vanity, vanity can kill you. She says, if you're not careful. She says, don't be so vain that you will do anything to be perfect or to look perfect. It's not worth it, she says. She says, the era of Kim Kardashian is fading away. And she says... And I should have tapped into that. I should have tapped into that era, that wave, that new wave, she says. Because she says there's a new wave coming. And she says, while, while, while I'm at the, the precipice of that wave, she says, I'm not at the precipice in the way that I want it to be. She says that this new era started with K. Michelle getting rid of her plastic surgery. She says, and I should have taken heed then. She says, but there's a market for it. And when there's a market for it, people are going to find a way to indulge. People are going to find a way to make profit. She says, at any cost. Even at the cost of a life or two or three or four. She kind of goes, I ain't saying nothing. Kind of looks around like, I ain't saying nothing. We'll say allegedly. And she says it just like this. But for why, though? But for why, though? I don't even talk like that. But for why, though? She says... She says, man, this man, K-I-L-L-E-D, me, allegedly, she says, or I'll say, allegedly. She says, ain't, ain't nobody trying to be honest, ain't nobody trying to take the rep for it. She says, I, I take accountability and responsibility for my part. I should have been better. I should have been smarter. I should have been wiser. She says, I'll take all that. I'll take all of that. All of that. All of that. All that. She says. 
she says, and she kind of points the finger almost like at him. She's like, she's pointing. Like, but for you to not take the responsibility for what you did or didn't do, she says. She says, man, that's messed up. That's effed up. She says, but it's going to come out. It's going to come out. Don't worry. She says, don't worry about it. She says, I just got to get used to where I'm at now in this new space that I'm in. And she kind of goes to me. She says, I want to thank you for coming through and helping me and talking to me and helping me to vent, she says, because not a lot of people go through this, she says, but not a lot of people are able to talk about it, are able to heal from it. She says, she says so I want to thank you. She says, I send my loved ones love. She says, I, d I send DC love because I know he, he's hurting. I know he's feeling. I know he's he's um, watching, she says. And I just want everybody to know that I'm okay, she says. I'm okay. She says, I'm okay. I'll be all right, she says. She kind of points to the doctor once again. She's like, but that mf -er got to go, she says. She says, I think I'm done. I'll stick around for the cards, she says. So I guess we'll get into the cards now. Thank you once again, Jackie, for coming through. Let's get into the cards while we still have her, all right? While we still have her energy around. And we're black. Let's go ahead and get right back into the reading. Thank you for cleansing and clearing my energy. But secondly, plus reading a many, 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 many. Will or is, I guess I should say, is Dr. Zachary Oka at responsible or at fault at, at all, allegedly, for YouTube entertainment purposes? Is Dr. Zach um, involved in the passing in any way, shape, or form with Jackie O? Two of Pentacles shows up. This is a card of balancing one's emotions, finances, or resources in some way, shape, or form. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if Jackie O signed off or didn't sign off on certain things. Do you feel like it's possible that he could be culpable for something under a loophole? Or under, you know, this wasn't, you know, she didn't sign off on this or no one signed off on this. I get the emperor showing up connected to money, finances, and personal belongings. This could be Dr. Zach himself. This could be a Taurus, Libra, Aries, Cancer, or Capricorn, male, or someone with masculine energy. Knight of Pentacles, maybe this could be Jackie O, specifically if she's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini has these energies in her chart. The Judgment card shows up connected to community, um, family, home, and emotions. I feel like people are going to be definitely reaching out to him for a statement in some way, shape, or form. Are going to be reaching out to him, maybe even for an interview or something like that. Someone could reach out to him for an interview. It could also be someone that has worked for him or worked for him as well. Six of Cups showing up connected to uh, creativity, self-expression. Seven of Swords shows up. Seven of Swords can be secrecy and covering up energy. Cover up energy. The Devil card connected to one-on-one -on -one relationships. I would say yes. There definitely could be some fault. At, you know, Zachary, Dr. Zachary Oka's feet, allegedly. In some way, shape, or form. The Temperance card, there could be something about him, though, where he thinks his hands are clear. Or his, you know, he may operate in a way where his hands are clear. 
But I think there may have been something about certain procedures or protocols that maybe were not necessarily followed, allegedly. Or once again, there's something where something wasn't signed off on. There's something about signing off on something. Like, this wasn't approved, this was approved. Like, there's something with that. Or there's something with contract where I'm wondering if the contract was one of those things where it's like I'm not, you know... You know, like a liability kind of thing. All right. Will justice in any way potentially be brought up against Dr. Zach Oka for what happened to Jackie O? If there was something, if there was maybe mishandling or if there was something Jack Dr. Zach did whether intentionally or unintentionally this is all alleged for YouTube entertainment purposes will there be justice brought against Dr. Zachary will there be lawsuits or suing let's see Four of Swords could show up or shows up. I feel like he's been sued before. This wouldn't be the first time he's been sued if he is sued. Eight of Wands shows up. There also could be something about this situation that brings up more pressure or brings up more drama for him in some way, shape, or form. Six of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Working within groups of people. The Empress shows up. Who could be a female in a position of power. Connected to work job daily routine. This could be maybe Jackie O. Once again. Will there be justice brought up against. Dr. Zach. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Justice card shows up. Yes, there will be. The Right after that, the sun card, which is my yes card. Yes, there will be. They may be taking their time. There may be an energy of taking time and waiting for the right timing. But with the justice card coming up, connected to time, connected to um, career professional destiny status in society. So once again, the fact that he's not licensed in certain things or, you know, may not have certain licenses or certifications for certain things could come up. Um, this also shows up connected to the past. So once again, I feel like there's something with the past that could resurface as well. So if it's not this situation which he goes to trial, there's something about the past or something where the past resurfaces. Like there's definitely like... There's a group effort here with the Sun card showing up in the position of working within groups of people. I don't think this is his first rodeo. I think he's done something like this before. Or he's been through this type of situation before. Alright. But there's, once again, something about him where he's very cool, very lax, very chill, very go with the flow. So I feel like he's going to portray this energy where, you know, there's nothing wrong. Like, there could be a whole lawsuit going on behind the scenes and he's going to act like, you know, everything is, you know, um, normal and, that you know, um, you know, it's back to business, you know, regular hours kind of thing. But there's a whole lawsuit going on behind the scenes. All right. So, there's something about him that just in that way can be very sneaky. Like, he thinks in every situation he's going to win or he's going to overcome. So, I'm interested. There, that's kind of interesting to me. You know, I wonder what's the mindset or philosophy behind that? Is there magic behind that? Or is there, you know, but we'll have to wait and see how things unfold. Because this lawsuit energy shows up like more towards the end of the year going into the new year. Like, the Justice card shows up around December or January, although it could be it could be 10 to 11 maybe days, weeks, or months within those time frames that we see Justice start to be pursued in this situation. All right? This could be a big lawsuit, too, to be honest with you. If they choose to pursue it. All right? Final card for this situation. This is just so sad. You know, once again, I don't know if uh, Jackie O is still here because I don't really feel her energy. But if she is, 
we send her back with love and light and healing and we definitely surround her loved ones with angels and healing and protection and just understanding as they go through whatever you know it is they're going through at this time and they will grow through all right loss can be hard eight of abundance is the final card in this reading eight of abundance eight deals with time once again eight deals with career professional destiny status in society eight can deal with self-discipline self-control it says this is a time of learning and honing your skills you may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. I don't think she was properly monitored. The fact is, is that for Dr. Zachary, Oka, Jackie O was a project. I hate to put it in that in those words, but Jackie O was a project that Dr. Zachary Oka should have been monitoring, like the card says. All right. So I would hate for it to come out that maybe the lack of monitoring of her post or pre-op was a part of the issue as well. I would hate for that to happen. All right. I would hate for that to come out. But if it does, predicted it. All right. Dr. Zach, we're going to be keeping our eye on you. This is all alleged for YouTube entertainment purposes only. Wink, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, nudge. All right. Thank you all for listening and watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you would like your own personal reading, once again, I'm available. Do not hesitate to reach out. You can text me um, at 703-791-9162. I am getting through my client list. Um, I think the next reading I have to do is a mediumship reading that's recorded. And then, I, and then I will be up to date. All right. So thank you all for being here. Um, I will catch you all in the next video. I will see you all in your own personal reading or talk to you in your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you or talk to you soon. And once again, we send Jackie O's family and loved ones love and light and healing. Love you all and God bless. All right. Bye. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me.